Hello and welcome to my fourth video in using Blender 2.6. In my last video, um, I talked about adding objects, um, and I added some primitive meshes, uh, including a UV sphere, um, cylinders, and a cone to create this snowman. Um, but after I published the last video, I uh, put my laptop to sleep, and then I woke my laptop up, and I had forgotten to save my project, and Blender had crashed, so I actually had to close Blender, and I just about lost my work. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about saving in Blender. Um, when you save in Blender, it's not like most other programs like Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office, um, where you get the, uh, the save dialog window that, you are, that you're normally used to in Windows. If you're using a Mac, you're used to what that looks like, um, and again, it won't look the same. So if I go to File, um, and now this is a backup file. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so I'm going to have to go to Save As rather than Save. This is what the save dialog box look like, uh, looks like, and it's not the same as obviously saving in Microsoft Word or another familiar program, um, because it doesn't use the same uh, part of the operating system that um, most other programs would use. It just doesn't use the generic kind of save dialog box. So to save is a little bit different, uh, but it's really quite easy. Uh, it gives you a list on the left hand side under system. Um, and under, under bookmarks um, for places that you can save common places. On a Windows computer, you probably, in fact, almost definitely have a C drive. Um, and in a Macintosh system uh, or a Linux system, it would look, I think, I'm not sure. I think you just have a name for your hard drive on a Mac. It might be called Mac OS X uh, as your hard drive or Macintosh HD. Um, so I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to save there. But obviously, you could go to your C drive and your users folder and find things there, but I'm going to be going to my desktop. And there's no other blend files on my desktop right now, so it doesn't list anything here. And there's also no folders. I've got quite a clean desktop. Uh, Blender save, saves as .blend, and right now my file is called quit.blend because it's a backup file. file. And again, I'll talk about that in a minute. So I'm going to name this snowman. Um, and I'm also going to name it with a number. And this is important because uh, when you're working in 3D, and this is actually a good habit to work uh, or, to, or to use when, you, when you're working with any other piece of software, is to use iterations. Um, who, if you've ever um, lost a piece of work, let's say you're writing an essay or you're writing a long document in Microsoft Word or any other program, and it crashes and you lose all your work. That's a, that's a terrible thing. Um, even worse is when you have saved, uh, or equally as worse, I should say, uh, when you have saved your work, but then the file gets corrupted somehow. We can get around that by saving files and iterations, um, and that means by saving a new version every time that you save. So I'm going to name this file snowman underscore zero one, and if you don't know how to do an underscore, it is shift, and then the key right next to your O on your number row. It's uh, the minus key, but shift minus key is underscore. And I'm going to do 0, 1 and say save as Blender file. There we go. So now it's on my desktop, saved as snowman underscore 0, 1. And if I minimize that program, um, there it is, snowman 0, 1. And new with Blender 2.6, I believe, uh, is the fact that it saves a thumbnail of your scene, which is really handy. Especially if you have a lot of different versions of the same file, or lots of different Blend files in the same folder, or you're searching on your computer and it becomes a long list of search results out of every single blend file on your computer. Um, so back to the file. Uh, let's say I make some changes. Now when I went and got the re restored backup of this, it lost the mouth of the snowman that I created. So I'm going to go ahead and recreate that. I'm going to press Shift A and create a new icosphere and scale it down. That's okay. Press 3 on my keyboard to get to the side view and grab this and put it at about the right spot. And press G and put that right about in the middle. And Shift D to duplicate these again. Again, if you haven't, oopsie, that went into perspective mode. Actually, no, that went into a funky um, fly-through mode. I'm going to press Shift D. If you didn't watch my last video, um, this will be clear what I'm doing right now. I'm duplicating the same objects and placing them using my, oops, there, that happened again. Shift D. And there we go. A little bit crooked, so I'll fix that. And now instead of just going to File Save, which you could normally do and would work, um, I'll do a Save As. And I don't have to rename it in here. I could rename it Snowman02. 
but I'll just press this little plus button and it'll actually find in the string of letters uh, and numbers in your file name, it'll find the number at the very end of your file name and it'll iterate it one. So if I press that plus, it changes it to two automatically and I can save as Blender file. Assuming that it clicks, there we go. Uh, so I'm gonna close this and if it happens as it usually would, sometimes what it'll do is it'll also create backup files. And I might actually go into that now. Um, in your Blender preferences, or under user file user preferences, uh, under system, there is most likely, okay, it's under file, um, and there is a little uh, option for save versions, um, and that number is two. Uh, so I think it might actually work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close Blender and reopen my second snowman. So snowman, oh, it says it does version three. That's interesting. I'm just going to do a file save and then close the program. And you'll notice that it created a uh, snowman underscore three dot blend one file. What this blend one file is, is a backup file. So for any reason, um, your snow, your, your file, in this case, my snowman underscore zero three file got corrupted. I could either go back to my previous version. So if I had many versions and I made small iterations each time, now you could just go back to the previous version. Or I could use this uh, blend one file. And to open this up in Blender, I could just uh, rename the file and change the file extension from blend one to blend. And because I have a snowman underscore zero three dot blend already, I'm going to name this uh, snowman underscore zero three uh, back up dot blend. And yes, I'm going to change the file ex extension. My system's warning me. So uh, I'll double-click on that. And so a Blend 1 is just a backup file that has a different file extension. Um, so you don't get it confused with your actual file. But it'll, it is actually a similar Blender file. Um, and one more thing about recovering backups. When Blender um, closes, let's say that I added a few dupl duplicate cubes. And I was really especially proud of this project. Oops. Again, I'm pressing some weird keys on my keyboard. Uh, there we go. So I've got five cubes now instead of my original one. And I'm really proud of this project, but then Blender crashes or I accidentally close. And unlike other programs, Blender doesn't say, excuse me, are you sure that you'd like to close the program? You have unsaved work. No, it doesn't do that. It'll just close. So I'll close that program and my work is lost, supposedly. But if you're lucky, uh, the next time that you launch Blender, you'll have the option of going to File and Recover Last Session. And if you're lucky, your work will be saved. And there we go. There is my four cubes uh, restored. Um, and so now what I want to do is go File and Save As. And not save this as my in my temp folder, which it is right now. This is where the backup is saved. Um, I'll just go back to my desktop, and I'll name this whatever I want, and press save. That's all this video is for. I uh, hope it helped you out, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.